Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla News, episode 17. Tesla files to sell new cheap lithium-ion phosphate batteries. Tesla is still dominating the global electric vehicle market in 2020. Audi announced new highly efficient electric car. Model Y gets a very positive review from Motor Trends. Tesla cuts prices on their cars. And SpaceX makes history once again with the flight of the dragon. And we get a glimpse of Tesla's upcoming robo-taxis. All this and much more to come on today's episode. Let's dive right in. Before we get started, I just want to make a big shout out to my newest patrons, Eric Debus, Ivan C. Gimlich. Hope I didn't murder your names too bad there, guys. Thank you so much for your support. And let's get into the news. Tesla cut prices for the cars. Model S and X get a $5,000 cut in price and Model 3 gets a $2,000 price cut in the US. Still not clear if we will get any price cut here in Europe. Tesla is also removing the free supercharging for Model S and X. Elon Musk said that the perk wasn't sustainable and he even admitted that they should have ended the incentive earlier. Tesla Model Y received positive first drive review from Motor Trend. Finally, a legitimate EV family car. The veteran automaker media outlet liked the Model Y for several key factors, from its specs to its performance to its features, but beyond this, the Model Y truly shined in one category aspect. It is a legitimate electric family crossover. And more good news for the Model Y, German EV rental firm Nextmove is loving the Tesla Model Y. Last year, the veteran rental firm made headlines worldwide when it cancelled a 5.5 million per case of Model 3 due to build issues. Things have apparently turned around for Nextmove's eyes. With the Model Y, the company gave it glowing review and made a promise to purchase the vehicle. Once the Model Y is made in Germany, numbers of the units are still unknown. Tesla files to sell new Model 3 with cheaper lithium iron phosphate battery LFP. Tesla has applied for the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology to approve of a new Model 3 equipped with LFP batteries in the latest batch of vehicle published in the ministry's road motor vehicle manufacturing enterprises. Based on the filing, the specs of the Model 3 haven't changed with the new LFP batteries. One advantage of the LFP batteries is that they don't use cobalt, which is a very expensive and sometimes controversial material. Tesla has talked about phasing out cobalt in its batteries in the past, and its NCA battery cells already use less cobalt than most other cells of similar chemistry. The main disadvantage of the LFP battery is the low energy density, but CATL, which is believed to be Tesla's supplier, has made improvement in the energy density and longevity. LFP batteries are also said to be safer if a problem was to occur. They don't burn as fast as some of the lithium iron battery chemistries. The Tesla Cybertruck's potential as a commercial vehicle was highlighted in a 3D visualized tool made by those in the Cybertruck Owners Club. Multiple commercial brands have already made their mark on the Tesla's blank canvas. The fact that people can make the Cybertruck their own will make it even more unique. From a commercial standpoint, Cybertruck's ability to draw attention will be very valuable. And Tesla already has over 700,000 pre-orders. This truck will just be a very big success for Tesla. And the Tesla Fremont factory is on track toward a full production capacity. Tesla Fremont factory has fully resumed production after virus lockdown and on the company's website the delivery time of the ordered cars is the same as it was before the factory lockdown. So Tesla Fremont is back on track. Tesla's are some of the safest cars on the road. 
This was something that became evident for a Model 3 owner, Martin Greft, when he crashed into a tree. But thanks to the Model 3's stellar 5-star safety rating and the vehicle's all-electric construction, Martin was able to escape from the accident relatively unharmed. He had some minor scratches from the branch that went through the Model 3's front window. But that was it. He wishes autopilot was on. The construction speed of Gigafactory Shanghai continues to amaze everyone. The latest drone video from Jason Yang showing that the Tesla is expanding the Gigafactory 3 at an astonishing rate. Information from a source familiar with the matter has said the new constructions of the 3A and 3B area are mainly preparing for the Chinese-made Model Y production and assembly line. So the speedy completion of the construction of these areas means that Chinese production of Model Y can begin much faster than previously planned. So exciting. Tesla Gigafactory 4 in Berlin was granted an early build permit by the State Environment Agency. The permits allowed Tesla to lay the foundation of its Gigafactory in Grunheim. The speed of this company is just insane. How can you expect anyone to keep up? Elon Musk confirms that Tesla's slower deployment of supercharger version 3 was due to production but is now ramping up. Tesla's goal was to have 18,000 superchargers around the world by the end of 2018. Unfortunately, Tesla ended up having only 12,000 superchargers at the end of 2018. And now, two years later, the automaker has 16,585 superchargers in operation around the world. Now, Elon has confirmed on Twitter that Tesla is still ramping up production of Tesla supercharger version 3 and that it will now speed up. There are a lot of ways to cut and slice electric vehicle sales around the world, but EV Volumes has shared the first quarterly breakdown by brand for the world as a whole. And Tesla, of course, took number one spot with 29% of global electric vehicle market in Q1 2020. Yeah, we're still waiting for the big boys in the EV market who should have killed Tesla by now, but still waiting. One who is trying though is Audi. Audi announced the launch of a new team group called Artemis, and they plan to develop an efficient electric car to come to market by 2024. At Audi, like in many other established automakers, it takes extraordinary amount of time to get a new model to production, and you have to jump through many bureaucratic hoops to make it happen. It was fine when it was business as usual in the industry, but now in the midst of the electric revolution, Audi is having to compete with Tesla and other companies operating more like a startup or tech company mentality of rapid innovation. Good luck, Audi! And some news about SpaceX and their historic launch. Unfortunately, we didn't get the lift off by SpaceX Crew Dragon on Wednesday because of bad weather. Everything else was looking good. Elon also said that he redirected SpaceX priorities to almost entirely focus on the Crew Dragon's astronaut launch debut, delaying Starship's own hop test debut by at least a week or two as a result. That will also be a great launch to see this big Starship make a 150 meter jump test. That is going to be nuts. But it's not going to be the SN4. Because that just blew up. Luckily, they got the SN5, 6 and 7 already in the making. But we did get the historic launch of SpaceX Crew Dragon Saturday. A big congratulations to SpaceX and NASA for making history and marking the new era of crewed spaceflight. If you want to see more about this, you can watch my last video, Flight of the Dragon, link in the description below. The EV sales in Europe are still looking good despite lockdown. Europe hits 11% plug-in vehicle market share in April. Very impressive. And the Model 3 is of course still the king of the electric market. And it also got a top spot in Austria. In March, the Model 3 was the best seller in Austria overall market. In April, Tesla delivered 227 vehicles, earning the first place on the country's EV ranking. So far, Tesla has sold 855 cars in Austria in 2020, despite the pandemic. The Model 3 
currently account for 19% of all electric vehicle sales in Austria, with the closest competitor being Renault Zeo, which sold 93 units in April and 517 overall in 2020. Elon Musk doesn't accept salary from Tesla, but that is also not necessary, as long as Tesla is on track to execute the plan, because shareholder granted him a very generous and ambition stock compensation plan in 2018. Tesla has confirmed that the first trans has been earned and is worth almost $800 million for Elon Musk. <laughs> nice. And Tesla just announced that the annual shareholder meeting will be held July 7th, 2020 in person and live streamed, of course. Looking forward to this, always very exciting. The Tesla Model 3 and its autopilot system were recently featured in an epic teaser from Diamond View, an Emmy award-winning video agency that is currently working on a documentary about the future of transportation in Tampa, Florida. The brief teaser provides a glimpse of Tesla and its upcoming robotaxi service, which utilizes autonomous vehicles to take passengers from point A to point B. The future is looking very cool. A Tesla power pack was recently installed in Calgary Boulder, located in Goldfields region of West Australia. It was the first of at least 10 Tesla battery storage system that will be installed in Goldfields regions this year. The Tesla power pack was installed to support Calgary's growing numbers of solar roof and other grid connected resources. West Australia has been leading the country in the adoption of solar roof installments with one of every three household generating power from renewable systems. As a result, green energy provides up to 45% of West Australia's power demand, and it will all be controlled by Tesla's Autobeta software, helping the region manage and dispute the energy stored in the power packs. The electrification of transport is slowly spreading into the maritime transport. While the focus has been on commercial vehicles like ferries, it has also reached leisure and personal vessels. Singapore-based Azura Marine unveiled a new $500,000 electric yacht that they claim can complete a non-stop ocean void powered only by sunlight. Very cool. And a group of large Japanese companies has come together to launch a consortium that will build an infrastructure to develop and launch large electric vessels like oil tankers. <laughs> oh, the sweet, sweet irony. That is all we have time for in this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends and family that would also like to get a weekly news update on everything Tesla and Elon Musk. If you're new here, thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on future episodes and other Tesla and Elon Musk videos. If you already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you want to support the show even more, remember you can for as little as one dollar show your support for this show. And of course, get your shout out here on this channel. Go to patreon.com slash best and Tesla and choose your level of support. And a big shout out to all my patrons for making this show possible. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>